Hi guys, so this week we are getting ready for the pointing. So I'm going to clear all of the concrete and the facade that's there and pick out in between the stones so that we can repoint the stone wall. So as you can see behind me, there's a sort of concrete facade. Uh, I'm going to use a hand power drill on the hammer setting to try and get that off. Uh, and then in between the stones, we'll use a hand pick because it's mainly sand and it's a bit, uh, you know, looser, so it's a bit easier to do. So I'm raking out in between the stones about two to three centimetres so there's enough space for the render to adhere to the wall. I'm super excited today because I bought some scaffolding a couple of weeks ago and today's the day I'm going to erect it. Big boys and their toys, I've been looking forward to this even though it's just scaffolding. Let's get going. There we are, I've built my scaffolding and uh, it's got a nice access hatch for me to be able to get through. Uh, let's give it a go. There we are, fantastic. Now I can work here. I've also got an extension pack that can fit over the top so I can get right into the corner there. So. I was just having a look at this wall and there's a stone that has fallen out of this brick. We touched it and it fell in and I managed to get it out and now there's a hole. So when you actually look in the hole, there seems to be an old pot with a lot of sand. So uh, let's get investigating. There's been reports in, a, in this area of people finding grenades in old bread ovens and holes in the wall. So I'm going to use a hoover and I'm just going to try and take the top layer off because there's a lot of dust and dirt in there and I'm just going to work my way down just to see what's in there in case there's anything in there that we don't want to be in there. So I've hoovered it out, unfortunately there was nothing in there, no treasure and luckily no grenades but it's going to make a great little secret hiding hole in our wall. So here's the finished wall, uh, one of two, so I've got to do the opposite side. Uh, but here's the finished wall, it's looking good, the wall's a lot cleaner, a lot better, uh, so looking forward to pointing it. Now on to the second wall. So here's the second wall and I've got the uh, scaffolding up and ready. Uh, I've started right at the top, I've managed to do a little triangle uh, and now I'm working my way down. As I mentioned before, I'm using uh, an electric drill that has a hammer function and I'm using that to get out most of the pointing, but I also have a hand tool uh, just to get out the fiddly bits that I can't get out with this. Uh, once I've done that, what I'm also using is a leaf blower, uh, and that works really well in just getting all of the last bits and pieces out of the stone, anything that's loose, uh, and so I'm blowing everything out, and it just leaves it with a really nice finish ready for the pointing. This part of the wall was the part of the wall I was most worried about. Some plonker has just put concrete all over the wall, but luckily he was such a plonker that he didn't do what I'm doing, which is chasing out and giving a good key for the new layer. So as I'm chiseling the concrete, because there's just sand behind it from the um, previous filling, uh, or mortar I should say, it's just falling out relatively easy. So as long as I chase along the grooves of the stone, it's hammering it out and it's not too bad. So as you can see, I'm working my way along. That was uh, all concrete along that wall there. Uh, and you can see I've still got uh, this little patch to finish off. I was dreading it, it's not so bad, but this is the last bit. I cannot wait to finish this chasing out. My uh, wrist is hurting from all the, all the hammer drill and we're getting a delivery later today, so I hopefully should be able to start the pointing tomorrow. Fingers crossed, we've got to get this sorted and clear up. That's it, all done. Uh, just got to clear up the rubbish and we're ready for the pointing. So thank you for watching my video this week. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please click the subscribe button on your screens now and uh, I'll see you next week while I uh, point these walls. Cheers guys, bye.